the go-to for the how-to. You know that you want to get beautiful. Print. Bonjour, Primpers. Yes, that's right. I'm off to France in a minute and I'm slightly excited as you can probably tell from my slight cliche outfit of stripy top and beret. But um, before I get off, I just wanted to check in with you and let you know some of the beauty goodies that I'm packing with me. And we all know how beautifully groomed those French women are. So I wouldn't dream of turning up to their country trying to look anything but. So without further ado, the first product that I threw into my beauty bag was this one. It's Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. I'm sure you all know it. You may not recognize it at first. This is its new sleek packaging. It's still a 50 ml tube, um, but it's the same formulation inside. And um, that formulation is the ideal way to get an instant dewy glow. It's just the perfect pick me up. It's like Barocca for your skin. Um, I can't rave about this enough. I use it, um, I use it anytime I think I need it really. Um, whenever I'm tired, whenever I feel like I look a bit pasty and dull. I use it when I'm traveling, when I'm jet lagged. And um, it just gives you that beautiful, plump, fresh look straight away. Um, you can use it in place of your moisturizer. I also often pat it on over my uh, makeup um, when I hit that kind of mid-afternoon slump or maybe just before I'm heading out for the night as a kind of reboot. Um, and it's just, yeah, like I said, a product I can't rave about enough. So if you haven't yet experienced Flash Balm, you need to get yourself to a Clarins counter very, very soon. It's $60. And um, like I said, I use it on, on an as-needed basis. I tend to go through one of these a year. So when you think of it in that way, it is um, a very justifiable justifiable spend. Um, On to my second skincare um, must for this trip. It's a new one um, by Lancome. It's in the Absolute range and it is the Sublime Regenerating Oleo Serum. Now I love serums and I love facial oils because they both penetrate so deeply but I've always been on the lookout for something that's a little bit in between. So it's a serum just with more oils than serums have tended to have in the past and I think I found it with this. It is just the perfect balance of the two. It's so sublime to touch. It's really beautifully soft and supple and gorgeous to massage in. It's a real treat. I, um, I've been applying it every night and um, one thing that I need to tell you at this point is that it's slightly pricey. It's $305. Now that probably makes a few of you go ouch and it is a lot of money. I get that. But um, what I just wanted to say about um, splurgy serums and treatment products is that um, what I found is not only does a little go a long way, um, but when I've been using the more expensive high quality blends, I found that I've been able to stretch out the um, time between my facials, sometimes three to four weeks, because they just keep your skin in such good shape. Um, and when you think of it in that way, um, that maybe it helps you spend less at the salon, um, if you are a regular salon user, um, I think that they can be totally justified. But um, if you're in the market for um, a really beautifully anti-aging, regenerating type serum, and this sounds like it's something that um, you have the money for, um, head to a Lancome counter on April 7. That's when this little number is out. And um, yeah, just have a little massage of it on your hand. You'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and know if it's right for you. So um, they're my two main skincare buys for the trip. I wanted to just run through a few of my um, makeup um, must-haves that I'm taking. You can imagine I'm taking quite a lot. I'm only going to show you a few. But um, the first one is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's um, by YSL and it's Rouge Volupté. This particular shade is number 29, which is called Opera Rose. Um, I'm wearing it now, actually. And it is a kind of medium pink um, it's really beautiful for either staining on for a little rosebud look during the day or you can easily layer, layer it up for more of a hot pink look at night time and um, the creamy formulation allows you to do that. It's just beautiful to wear. It's really light, um, really moisturizing. Um, and I mean the packaging, look at it. It's so beautiful. And if you're going to be pulling out lipstick in the middle of some chic Parisian bar or cafe, you want it to look like this, right? So, you know, I couldn't resist. Um, as for foundation, I'm taking a new one you might have read a little bit about on Primped recently um, because we're slightly obsessed with it. Um, it's Lancome again, um, and this is called Tant Visionaire, and um, it's 
a foundation that comes with a concealer in the lid. So um, when you're traveling, it's really handy to have such multitaskers. They obviously take less space in your travel case, which means you can buy more at the other end, which is always a good thing. Um, the concealer is great for dark circles. I found that it really fixes mine um, quite effectively and dark circles are one of my particular beauty bugbears. So um, if I endorse this for dark circles, that means that it has to be pretty good. Um, as for the foundation itself, it's a lightweight satin finish. It's just really beautiful. You can wear it sheer, you can build it up. It gives your skin a really soft, supple look. And um, as you might have guessed from the name, Visionaire, it is um, linked to the uh, popular Lancome Serum Visionaire. So it's packed with treatment ingredients. And because of this, I'd suggest that you first don't wear a primer because you want the treatment ingredients to be able to get into your skin as quickly and as easily as possible, but also apply it with your hands. Um, so warm up the um, foundation in the palms of your hands and then just literally press it onto your skin and just keep layering until you get the result you want. And um, when you warm up a product with active ingredients in it, um, that's a really good way to activate those ingredients and really um, make them work as much as they should. So that's a good little tip. And I mean, we all love um, using our makeup brushes to apply our makeup most professionally, but when you're traveling, it's kind of one of those things you don't really need to do, um, need to do with. So. Um, Anyway, Town Visionaire is $65. It's available now at department stores, so um, try that on your next um, shopping trip because um, I think you'll be sold. And considering um, it does, well, three in one actually, it's concealer foundation and it's treatment product, it's a um, pretty good value buy. Now, the other thing base-wise that I'm throwing into my case is this. It's L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Powder, which is um, the first BB powder, and we've written about it before on print, so I'm sure that you um, know a little bit about it. But um, basically, I um, just pop this over my foundation whenever I want a more polished, um, velvety look. And um, I prefer to use this with a kabuki brush, but because I'm not taking any brushes on the trip, um, it comes with a sponge in the base that is um, great in a pinch. It still works really well. And there's a mirror, which is always handy for those Parisian cafe touch-ups. And um, the last makeup product I wanted to talk to you about is by Bourgeois, which is another great French brand that I'm sure you all know from um, your pharmacy outings here. This is Queen Attitude Cole Cajal. And um, it's one of those traditional um, coals that you can imagine the likes of um, Cleopatra wearing back in the day. And um, it is a great two-in-one again because it's got the really skinny nib at the top so you can um, create a soft line of definition or if you're heading out for the night as I am planning to do in Paris with all of those great after dark bars, um, you can smudge it over your lips for a really easy, quick, um, smoky look. So um, it's $19, it's from pharmacies that sell bourgeois, and when you're there, also check out the Queen Attitude Mascara that um, complements it. It's a really interesting buy. Um, it um, is designed to um, make your lashes go out into a sideways sweep rather than that kind of usual kick up that most mascaras um, create. So two really inspired by so check those ones out um, when you're next at your local chemist now I just wanted to um, tell you a couple of the body buys that I'm taking with me um, now it's meant to be spring in France I just checked the weather report for um, Saint-Tropez where I'm starting my holiday and it's nine degrees which is just lovely so I'm hardly going to be slathering myself in fake tan um, but a gradual tan I can definitely do, um, which is basically your daily moisturiser with a little bit of glow, which um, we can all do with all year round. And how could I resist working back my body care, my gradual tan, to um, the town I'm going to be in? So Saint-Tropez is not a French brand, but yeah, like I said, I just couldn't resist with this name. And this particular gradual tan is um, one of my old all-time all favorite graduals because it's just flawless. I've never had problem with this. I've never had any patchy or streaky or smelly issues at all. Um, I just whack it on, no scrubbing, no prepping at all. And within a few hours, I just look that bit healthier. So um, hopefully all of that work won't be hidden under my winter woolies while I'm away. But um, Anyway, like I said, it's a great one for traveling because it's a two-in-one, you get some glow and you get moisture, moisturizer, so you can't lose, really. Finally, um, 
of course, perfume. Now, um, no self-respecting, beauty-loving girl could go to France, the spiritual home of fragrance, um, without committing to a daily spritz of a gorgeous fragrance. So um, I'm packing my current signature scent, which is Love Chloe, which um, I just adore. It's really pretty and it's clean and soapy and feminine and vintage all at once, which probably sounds like a really strange description, but if you um, have a go at that, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's just beautiful. But um, there's a, a couple of, there are a couple of other fragrances that I'm packing that I wanted to tell you about um, because they're new to Australia and the brand is called Jean en Provence and um, these are two of the fragrances. Um, this one translates as uh, a morning in the rose garden. And this one translates as a stroll in the orchard. And um, basically they're from Grasse in the south of France, which is the um, birthplace of modern fragrance and where um, a lot of French fragrance houses still source a lot of their ingredients. And I don't know if you've been to France, but um, you've probably at least seen photos of the beautiful flower fields and orchards that are there. And as such, um, these fragrances are inspired by those beautiful floral and fruity smells of Provence. And so for instance, this one is... Um, all about apple and pear and this one is all about rose and angelica which is a herb which gives it a gorgeous herbal fresh twist um, which is quite um, nice for rose a rose fragrance because most roses tend to be um, a little bit on the sweet um, and shall we say nana side of things so um, I thought I'd road test those when I'm over there the other thing about them is they're nice and light they sound like they're a little bit heavy um, and sweet being fruity and floral but they're actually really light and fresh so great for traveling um, and if you're not traveling and you can't buy them over there you'll be able to buy them at Terry White uh, Terry White Chemists um, throughout throughout April they should be coming into into store and you'll also find um, body creams and candles and soaps and really really great prices um, for instance these perfumes are priced from $24.95, so um, slightly cheaper than going and smelling the real thing. Um, and on that note, I'm off to go packing so I can go and smell the real thing. Um, I'm away for a few weeks. Um, Haley's going to be steering Pripped Ship while I'm away, so um, be nice. I'm sure you will be. She's um, an adorable thing. I'm sure you know Haley well, and she's got some... Um, great things to um, talk to you about for the coming weeks. It's a big week in beauty with lots of new launches. Fashion Week Australia is happening um, mid-April. So keep checking back and I will see you um, in a few weeks. Um, until then, au revoir and take care. Bye.